In this video, I will show you how to edit the LED effect files and how to create your own LED light effects. So what I have here is a standard board connected to the LED line and a control pad. And through the control pad, through the up and down keys, you can change the effect files. There are 12 effect files on the SD card. This is the first effect. If you go up, you go to the next effect, file, and so forth. I'm going to go back to the initial one. So now I'm going to power off the board, take SD card out and plug it into the SD reader so we can edit the file on the computer. Once we're done with editing the file, we're going to put it back into LED controller and uh, see what we got. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take the SD card and plug it into the card reader. So we can edit the files on the computer. So let's take a look at the files. Uh, creation of LED effect is a two-step uh, process. First, we need to create the effect file where we describe the intensity of each light and the timing. And then we run this file through the conversion program. Then uh, it creates the file that could be understood by the board. So the first step is um, we're going to go to the default effect files folder and this is the initial effect files that comes with the board so we can look at the first one see what the effect file in it looks like so we can open the file in a spreadsheet uh, uh, the file is comma delimited comma separated value file csv file uh, it will be easier uh, if it's edited in the cs in a spreadsheet you can also edit it in the notepad note notepad plus plus any text editing software but it's easier if you do it in a spreadsheet so the first row defines the uh, this description uh, of the columns so the first one is uh, LED type and it just says uh, LED the second one is the board quantity uh, we just have one board connected so it's just one the next one is the delay in uh, hundreds uh, of a second and then the other 16 uh, columns uh, describes the intensity for each of the light. So LED effect created by creating uh, frames. So this is our first frame from here to here. It describes which LED needs to be turned on at what intensity and how long to display it. So in this case, uh, uh, it actually says display nothing it's all set to zero so leds there are 4096 gradations uh, for led brightness so you can set it from zero to 4095 um, so the first row is uh, all zero so there will be nothing displayed for five hundredths of the second so it's pretty short time so it's going to pass pretty quick the second row describes that the middle leds need to light up a little bit it's a level 20 so it will be just barely visible so basically the effect that we're trying to create or this effect the initial effect is uh, it uh, it doesn't turn the light uh, instantly, it just uh, turns them on slowly. Oh. So the second frame also will be displayed for 5 milliseconds and uh, it uh, uh, turns on the two middle LED slightly. The next frame will, will set them to the 4000, it's pretty much 99% uh, of the brightness. So it will set them to almost the maximum two middle ones, but adjacent ones will be light up a little bit. So we can create this wave where some LEDs are completely lit and some of them uh, just a little bit. So this is how the files are created. So what uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to blank it all out. 
So I'm gonna set it all to zeros. So I'm gonna just copy the first column. And that's where the spreadsheet uh, helps. You can easily uh, uh, copy and paste the value. So I'm gonna zero the first uh, LED and then I'm gonna copy it. There's uh, obviously many ways to do that. There's just one way. I'm going to zero everything out. So what I want to do, I want to have a moving LED. I want a LED light up uh, LED number one at uh, at uh, 4095 at full brightness. Then I want to move it to the LED two, LED three, LED four, and so forth. So basically, I'm creating a frame. The first frame would be lighting up the first LED for 5 milliseconds, for 5 hundredths of a second, 1 twentieth of the second. The next one is uh, light up the second LED, but turn off the first one. Then uh, basically this light is going to move uh, on a line. Five. I can copy that cell and and just paste it like this. And I need some extra rows, so I'm gonna just take this row. And just create a couple more rows like this. So my LED is gonna move to the 16th. Now, what do we do with the 16th is up to us. What we can do, we can display them all. So once it reaches the last one, we can uh, flash. We can flash all of them for a period of time. We can uh, also set them to a uh, low intensity, uh, maybe like 50% uh, intensity. And we'll display it for a long, let's say, let's say display it for one second. So I'm gonna put the uh, 100. So the hundred is basically will be the hundreds uh, uh, of the one hundredths of the second. So it will be one second. It will be a hundred value, and then uh, and then we're gonna do the same thing, but uh, with the very low intensity light. So I'm gonna do twenty here. Actually, how about we just uh, end it here? So I don't need the rest of the lines, and it's gonna. So all the effects are uh, playing through this uh, file. So it's the LED uh, going to move from one LED to another one. So the light is going to jump. As you see here, you can actually see how it's going to work. It's going to jump from here to here. And then once it reaches the end, once it reaches the 16th LED, it's going to turn all the LEDs on for a period of time. And then it's going to lower the brightness and they're gonna stay for one second. Once the uh, LED controller encounters the end of the file, it's gonna replay it over and over again. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna save this file as LED effect zero zero zero. We're gonna save it. It's gonna ask uh, if you wanna save it in CSV. Yes, we're gonna save it in CSV and we can look at this file in a text editor. So if we look at this file that we just created in a text editor, let's say open in the notepad. We're gonna open in a notepad. So this is what the file looks like. It's basically all the values are comma separated. Okay, I'm gonna close this. So this is the first step. The first step is creating effect files. And if I'm gonna look at the demo one, that's more complex one, 
you will notice there's the multiple LEDs so multiple LEDs are light up this is the staggering LED where light moves and then 16s will stay on while the LED is gonna move uh, again from the left to to right you know okay so so we create our initial path so here's our file what we're gonna do is that we're gonna do the second step the second step is we're gonna go to the LED conversion program and we're gonna con convert this file to the file that could be understood by the LED controller so I'm gonna open the CSV file I'm gonna open the 00, zero file that we just created I'm gonna export it and I'm gonna export it as the LED 00, zero. that is our first effect file I'm gonna export that, yeah, I'm gonna replace that it exported okay so now what we can do now we're gonna take the uh, SD card from the reader and we're gonna plug it into the board I'm gonna move the camera so now I'm gonna take the SD card out I'm gonna plug this in and I'm gonna turn on the power and we should see LED moves highlight them all at full brightness for just a short period of time and then repeat this so again it LED moves then all the LED come on then they go to the lower brightness level stay there for one second and repeat all over again if we move to a second file that's our default file so it's going to be a, a different uh, effect and you can create as many files as you want there uh, 2 gig file will allow you to create uh, hundreds and thousands of files if you would like so let's go back to the, our original so this, so this is how you create a file this is how you create the effect file and put it on SD card and you can control all LED channels uh, separately so you can make one LED blink one be on one be have brightness and so forth it's all up to your imagination uh, if you have any questions, ask. Thank you so much. Like the video if you if it provides enough information for you. Thanks.